Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ Project. My name is Matthew and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your rubbish remote, yes it's rubbish because I hate these things, working on your LibreLec uh, installation on the MXQ box or one of these things. So the only reason why you're watching this is because you've installed LibreLec onto this, uh, either by dual boot or the internal memory and the chances are this may not work. Usually it does work, it does work straight out of the box if you use the right file, so the HD8 and Q for the HD8 and Q um, MXQ box, the MXQ for the B-Link box, and the M21D for the one with half, half a gig rank. So if you haven't used the right one, then that's probably why. But anyway, moving on, we can actually put something called a remote configuration file into a configuration folder using something called Samba. Now you can actually do this using SSH, so the chances are you've already seen my video on how to SSH into LibreLec, but it's a little bit complicated, I don't really want to delve into that because it might confuse the hell out of you, it confuses the hell out of me, that's for sure. So we're going to be using something simple called Samba and all we're going to need is the box IP address, I think you've probably already done that, and if you've used Cody for any length of time you know where to get your IP address from. Very straightforward, I shall show you anyway both on Cody 17 and 16 if you prefer to use that. So next thing we need to do is we need to go and grab that IP address so let's crack on and let's show you how to do it. Did you say anything? Anything. Anything. Yes, anything. <laughs> anything. Anything. All you got to do now is restart your MXQ box to see if the remote file works. If not, I'll try and get some more remote files uploaded for you to try again. So if you do get stuck, come over to the Facebook group or join the forum. It's brand new and we really like to build it up. And finally, the website. I shall leave all the links in the description below. So if you like the video, give me a like. If you disliked it, give me a dislike. That's absolutely fine. And we shall see you in the next video.